We are on to pick number 12, I believe, of the NBA draft. Number 12, Joshua Primo, if that's how you say his last name, but the youngest in the draft, if I am not mistaken. The youngest player in this draft, 18 years old. We'll probably go a few seasons with him just to see if we could develop him into something nice for the San Antonio Spurs while also obviously rebuilding the San Antonio Spurs to the best of our ability. But you guys know what to do. Make sure to drop that like for me. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, comment down below challenges. Always challenges for my cha in between videos that I do. I do regular rebuilds and then challenge videos if you guys didn't know, if you're new to the channel. Uh, but let's get to it. Let's get. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Y'all liking the hoodie? Y'all liking the hoodie or nah? Because I mean, I might have a collection dropping uh, kind of soon. Oops, wrong way. Uh, I I I'm calling it like the goat collection. It's embroidered, by the way. It's not a, like it's not printed. It's literally stitched on embroidery. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of fire. Uh, have a goat collection coming out y'all interested in that keep a lookout for that but let's get to it joshua alabama 18 years old pick number 12 only a 71 overall meaning he pro i mean i'll probably make him my ninth man it's not like we're in a position to win a championship right now with the roster that we currently have right so do we believe in dejounte murray i'd say yes Calvin johnson absolutely he's been showing some new things in his bag uh dad young could be that great vet for you guys but also great value for a actual contending team that is contending immediately right now so you could trade him away uh Derek White 27 years old four years we'll probably keep him two years for Poto we'll see I mean we got to develop the young guys Doug McDermott it's just these Spurs always get those like mid-level low-level guys that essentially they come in they help but they don't take your team to the next level. They're a drafting team. They're a developing team. They're not a free agent team. But that might change in the years to come. We shall see. I have no idea. Lonnie Walker's out here. I've always liked Lonnie Walker. Uber athletic. Ridiculously athletic. We'll see if he takes a jump this season as well. Brim Forbes returns to the Spurs after just winning a championship with the Bucks. Devin, still 21 years old. We got some youth that we can develop. They signed Zach Collins. Injury prone, but they threw him a flyer. And then, of course, Joshua. They got Joshua. There's, there's young pieces. Development is needed. Maybe a trade here or there. And then we continue the Spurs way by bringing in, like, mid-level free agents that could possibly be either good backups or solid enough starters for us. But no real superstars since that doesn't really ever happen. So that's what we'll do. I got to make sure my coaching is good. My training is good. Um, and I don't even know if I'm going to start with a trade or not. All right. Was checking my staff. Don't have any more money to sign any type of staff. It just is what it is. Um, I got my training right. I got my mentorship right. So hopefully we all good there. Um, and then I don't know what I want to do. I'm probably going to go to the trade deadline. And then that's when I'm going to search for trades for like a Thaddeus Young. See if I could throw him into a contender. It does have to be a contender though in my mind we'll keep it a little bit realistic we'll give them to a contender see what that contender can bring us get us back either it's a pick even if it's a late pick if it's a young guy that they maybe don't want to develop and they think they want to win now and so they're throwing a young guy at us something like that our proficiency i am switching it to balance instead of defense just because Calvin johnson goes down um he's not very happy on the defensive end and I think that might affect his improvement over time. So we're going balance. We're going balance. I'll see you guys probably at the trade deadline. And then we figure out if we want to make a trade or not. Uh, if not, we just continue this. We try to develop our youth. We try to make a trade. This is the type of trade that I am thinking about exactly. Miami expecting to compete, right? Uh, to contend. They got Bam. They got Jimmy. They got Tyler Hero. They have Victor Oladipo. They have Kyle Lowry. They're most definitely trying to compete. Why not add a Thaddeus Young to that roster and absolutely uh, uh, bolster that roster with him? Uh, somehow they have Will Barton. They're giving me Will Barton. They're giving me a 2026 first rounder. Obviously, this one is more so for the first rounder. Yes, we have to absorb another year of 14 million, but I could either trade them in the offseason, do something with this first rounder to move up in the draft if we don't get a solid enough pick, stuff like that. We're giving up a second rounder. They're getting uh, Thaddeus Young. Thaddeus to a contender, most likely in the playoffs. So we might sneak into the play-in. I doubt it, but that's the only trade I'm doing for now. Also, been giving Josh some minutes during the season instead of, I think it was Drew. So Drew's kind of mad, bro. Drew's down three. He is not happy. 
He probably won't try to return. It is what it is. 10-man rotation, giving Josh minutes because, because he's the young one that needs to improve. The man needs minutes to improve, and that's either through the G League or through the NBA. And I'd rather do it through the NBA. I'll see you guys at the end of season and number one. I guess Thaddeus Young was like our superstar because after trading him, we lost like, I mean, we only won like four games. So we're bad. 15th in the conference, 27th power rank. Embiid, most valuable player. Evan Mobley is the rookie of the year. Six man goes to Drummond. Giannis wins defensive player of the year. Most improved Wendell, a double-double. Nate McMillan, coach of the year, 54 and 28. Okay. All right, Luka Doncic, we don't really care about this. We're not going to be on it. We might be on a defensive team, maybe, but not even that. Maybe a rookie team. Maybe we sneak into like a second team. I also doubt it, but you never freaking know. We're not out here. We are not out here, but we will surprise eventually. We will be one of the best. I mean, he's the youngest guy in the draft. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I'm making that up. Quick stat check by our player 17 for DeSante Murray. I wonder what dad was averaging. I didn't look, um, but he's uh, seven rebounds, five assists, two steals. We'll take that. 14 by Keldon Johnson, 13 by Derek White, 12 by Lonnie. I think off the bench, 11 for Doug off the bench, 10 for Bryn off the bench. No real guy just taking, you know, give me the ball. But then again, we're running a 10-man rotation. Will Barton, uh, Jacopo, eight rebounds. Devin, six, and then Josh, five in limited minutes so that's not bad field goal percentage obviously needs to improve he's he's a rookie he's only getting 14 minutes it's hard being consistent but six foot four six foot five with like a wingspan of i believe six foot seven, six foot nine i don't know but he does have a very solid wingspan which then entails like a possibility of being a solid defender so we'll see what he can become but in the, we're here we're here in the playoffs who wins this championship clearly not us we're 15th we're doo-doo uh we gotta go improve lakers bucks that's a possibility. Very big possibility, especially we don't know where Ben Simmons is still going to end up. Yes, he's returning to Philly, but we don't know where he's going to end up. Brooklyn, Kyrie Irving scenario. They're still going to be great with James Harden. Kevin Durant, don't get it twisted. Uh, but what the heck is up with Kyrie? What like That's up in the air. What's going to happen with him? Um, and then the rest of the East is kind of wide open for me. Obviously, the Bucks are there, the defending champs. So they're the ones that are like set to most likely return at least to the conference finals in my opinion and then it's up to anybody it's up to anybody just how like atlanta got there last time they got there again and then in the west i think it's a little bit more of a a crapshoot we'll see what happens there as well lebron james another finals mvp another championship added to the belt another notch to the belt and we go ahead and see where we end up in this draft lottery so where are our odds we are the fourth team right there and i don't think we have anybody else's pick but we shall see where we finish we do not care skip it Damn, we're not top three. We're not even... Whoa, whoa, whoa. We fell to six, bro. We were the fourth. We fell to six. That's unfortunate. I'm going to try to move up. I have to. I have to. So it's the Magic, the Pistons, and the Wizards that we try to steal away from. Either one of them. Let's get a top three pick at least. Trade up trade for the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Would Orlando do that? Probably not, but we're giving the sixth pick. We're giving them Will Barton, um, and then we move on to the next. They say no. We'll throw in the second rounder as well, and then maybe there would be another first rounder thrown in here, but we'll move on to number two. Number two is the Pistons. They just drafted Cave. They're going to get another great player. If they kept this, they would probably get one at six as well, or a decent enough player, but obviously... Um, the higher the draft pick, the less likely you're getting a super stud. We'll throw in another second rounder. They'll see what they want. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Number two is nice. Number two is nice. Detroit accepts it. They can still get a six pick. They get some more depth with um, um, Barton that I just traded away, and then they get three second rounders, I believe. I feel like I need a big. I went with Paolo, bro. I went with Paolo. Of course, we couldn't get Chet Holmgreen. Uh, Paolo was there. We went with him. Of course, he was there. <laughs> Chet goes number one overall. We had the second pick. That's who we go with. 79 overall, well-rounded four, can play the center spot for us. We could have gotten AJ, we could have gotten Jaden, but like if, if, if we have so many guards, plus I'm trying to develop Joshua. So it just, it just, I don't know. I like just throw him in, throwing him in and then being a starter already just feels wrong. Um, Matthew Cleveland, we could have gotten him. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say his name. Jalen uh, 77, but I guess we got this best, the second best player in Paolo. We go ahead and sign him. And uh, we'll see how big of a, a improvement he makes to our roster alongside uh, our, our improving youth. Of Cowden, of Devin, Luca, do we bring back? I mean, he's young, but I don't know if he improves. Do I really even care about Zach Collins? I mean, we got to bring him back. Just 
trade pieces? Trade pieces? Is anybody going to want Zach Collins? I could flip. I could. Uh, I'll keep him. I'll keep him. I'll try to flip him for at least a second rounder or something. Two first round picks from Oklahoma. A 2023 Detroit unprotected? Are they going to be great now? I mean, they did have. Uh, wait, did we take their pick? We took Detroit's pick, right? So they picked that six, meaning they didn't get the best draft pick. I don't know who they ended up going with. That still might fall in the lottery this season. We're taking that. We're taking the Clippers unprotected. They're getting Drew. Yes, Drew is a, it's a solid, solid big, by the way. Like, I have no complaints with Drew. It's just that our team is getting a little bit too stacked uh, at area. Zach Collins, we really don't need. I don't believe in his development at this stage. Didn't even get minutes for us last season. He probably won't continue to. Or he probably will continue to not get me. You know what I'm trying to say, man. Anyways, the two first rounders because OKC is stacked with them. Um, are this he's still a restricted free agent, but I'm gonna throw in a contract. Somehow I could offer him quite a bit of money. Um, and he agrees. I'm guessing the Suns are gonna match it. The Phoenix Suns decide to match the offer sheet. Of course they are. Um, but we got quite a bit of. How do we have that much money? Anyways, I'm looking for a center for the future. We could go give a contract to Mitchell Robinson, but I just don't like how mad he gets all the time. Wendell Carter could get a contract. We need a center. I don't need some superstar, but I don't want to overpay. But if you're f San Antonio, you might have to overpay. I don't know. I don't know who to go for. Screw it. Throwing him an offer. Throwing him what he wants. And yeah, just what exactly what he wants. We're throwing that up there. We'll see if they match it. He did just when uh, Lonnie Walker would have to walk. Uh, I mean, I die. Uh, he's a most improved player. Technically, Wendell's a most improved player. Lonnie, yes, you're super nice, athletic. Could score 12 points off my bench in 22 minutes. That's a bucket. But we have so many freaking guards. We have so many six foot four, six foot five guys that Lonnie Walker could be afforded to just walk. So we'll see. Ah, they don't match it. Okay. They do not match the offer sheet. We're getting Wendell, is it? I guess we're switching out Lonnie for Wendell. Only offer for Lonnie Walker. We have him for $5 million, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have finessed it. Waited till the 12th day. He had no offers. We gave him one. We were the only team to give him one. DeJounte Murray, 85 overall. Great. Keldon Johnson, 82. Awesome. Wendell only goes up one. I got finessed. It said he was an 82, didn't it, in the offseat? Anyways, it's okay. He'll be our center. He's a 23-year-old. He could still improve. And then we have a solid backup uh, as well. So Derek White, 78, goes up in some areas. We just got Paolo. He'll continue to improve, hopefully. Uh, 77, Jacopoto. Uh, 77, Devin goes up three. Doug McDermott at least stays the same at the age of 30. Lonnie goes up one. Josh goes up at hole three. I need that again and again, at least two more times. Two more years. Go up three, then make him a 77. And then an 80 overall to start. And maybe the third season, fourth season, uh, I need him to improve fast. An overpay for Wendell? I don't know. He would hold some value, especially after winning a Most Improved Player Award, getting a block and a half, getting a double-double, and shooting decently from three. 33% from three, 50% from the field, a double-double, and 1.6 blocks. His per 36 would be even more even more better. Uh, 15, 12, 3 assists, 2 blocks a game. So he could definitely hoop. We're running a 10-man rotation. This is it. We're going to wait for Cowden. We're going to wait for DeJounte Murray if he improves. We're going to wait for Wendell. We're going to wait for Paolo. Absolutely. Our second overall draft pick in 2022. Not only that, we have multi We have a... I mean, we should have our draft pick for next season or this following season and then, and then whatever... OKC gave us. And then our bench, we got Poto, we got uh, Devin, we got Doug, we got Lonnie Walker and Joshua Primo. Got to make sure our training's still good. Here two, running balance once more. See you guys at the end of season number two. Hopefully, at least in a play-in situation, we shall see. We're slowly getting better. We got a 79 overall Paolo. We got Wendell Carter Jr. to come in. Um, we're waiting on Joshua. We're waiting on, on Calvin Johnson. We're waiting on DeJounte Murray. Play on spot, please, at least. We finished 10th, which is better than 15th, right? <laughs> so five spots improvement. Next season, why not another five spots and we'll finish fifth. We'll finish fifth in the conference. Trey Young is the MVP with monstrous numbers. Chet is the rookie of the year with the magic. Oh, that's why they were fine with getting rid of, uh, I mean, he's a power forward. Especially since he's a little lanky and a little a little uh, 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 light. So I guess maybe that that's why they were okay getting rid of Wendell. No idea. Moses Brown, six man of the year. Those are those are six man numbers, bro. 
Are those not starter numbers? The man's getting 30 minutes off the bench. Y'all just cheating to get that six man. Defensive player Giannis, most improved Dylan Windler, and Willie Green is the coach of the year. Anything? Anything for us out here? I doubt it. I doubt it again. Maybe, a, once again, a defensive team? Possibly. We do, though, get an all-rookie first team, of course, with Paolo. He's an 80 overall, skilled glass cleaner. We have a chance to make it to the playoffs. Player stats, 18 for Murray is our leading score. Again, once again, six rebounds, six assists, two steals. He's a stud, man. He's, he's balling. 16 and a half for our rookie. Just off the bat, eight rebounds, four assists for him as well. Shooting 35% from three. Sure. Absolutely. 14 for Keldon, 11 for Wendell. Not a double double. He is getting less minutes, most likely. Yeah, three less minutes. Eventually, we'll go back to a nightmare rotation, but right now I need it so Joshua could get some minutes to become um, a viable piece for us. A nice piece for us. 11 and 7 for him. He's getting a block and a half still, though, so that's great to see. 11 for McDermott off the bench. Derek, I believe, is starting, uh, getting 11 points. 9 for Lonnie Walker off the bench, and Devin, 8 off the bench, and then Joshua, 7. Oh, and Poto is getting, yeah. Whoa, he can 7.8 boards off the bench. Bro, we're decent. Oh, and those numbers improved by Joshua. Those shooting numbers, huge improvements from 37 to 42, from 24 to 38. His scoring improves, and he's getting less minutes. He's getting better. He's getting better. Simulate this game. Simulate play-in. We made it to the playoffs. Wow, okay, I'll take it. I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to simulate the game, but... You know, I tweak sometimes. Simulate game by game up against New Orleans. Do we have a chance? Of beating a New Orleans team, um, they do S2K. You guys know 2K just just favors them like crazy, and we've been eliminated 4-1. But hey, we made it to the playoffs. I wanted to make it. We made it. Now who wins the NBA championship? Who wins the NBA championship? New Orleans? No, the Grizzlies of all teams. They finish second and they make it to the finals. Morant, 23 years old, wins a finals MVP and a championship already. That is the life. Now we do have the, I didn't even pay attention to the Pistons or anything like that. Uh, so are they, are we out here? 10th pick, 10th pick. And that will convey to us. That will become ours if we need it. Maybe we could come up with a trade. We'll see where we at. Where we at? We're 10th. We get the Spurs. I mean, we get the 10th overall pick from Detroit from OKC. I do not want any more younger pieces. It's time to start competing. In my eyes, um, the development should be good enough. I just saw Calden Johnson was mad at us, but the good thing is he's a restricted free agent. He's coming straight back. Um, I don't know why he would be mad. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know why he would be mad. But Drummond, a 79 overall right now. Uh, he's taking uh, Jacopo's spot because he's off contract. He's on contract for two more seasons. TJ McConnell, a solid point guard as well. Hopefully he doesn't decline too much because he does put up some decent numbers, at least in the past two Ks he has. And that's not horrible, I guess. Maybe per 36 would be 10 assists. It's not bad at all. We're giving him the 10th pick, the 15th pick, and a random second rounder. Those are pretty valuable. The 10th pick, I'd say, is very valuable. The 15th pick, uh, it starts getting a little iffy there. So we're not drafting. We got bench pieces to just solidify this bench a little bit more. Devin coming back. Joshua coming back. Make sure Calden Johnson's qualifying offer is extended. We'll bring back those other guys as well. It's just the Spurs thing to do to try to develop, 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 no matter how long it might take. And then maybe eventually, if it doesn't work out, let him walk or maybe get some for him. Yeah, damn. Paolo goes up five. Anyways, Deshante Murray in 86. Paolo goes up to an 83. 83 Calden Johnson, even though he was mad throughout the season. So the good thing is he still improves. Uh, Wendell Carter, 81. Stays the same, but goes up in some areas. 79 for Devin. Drummond stays the same. Dope. Derek goes down one. Primo goes up another three. One more year of another three, and he's in an 80 overall. Please. I might just start him as well, though. Perimeter defense B+. plus. It's fine. Derek. You're, you're off the bench, buddy. You're off the bench. TJ does go down. That's fine. He's only here for one more season, I believe. Then Doug, same thing here. One more season. Luca goes up, too. He might obviously take over McDermott's spot. And then Trey goes up, too, as well. Might just take TJ McConnell's spot. And that's why we keep our young pieces. They eventually become okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we can improve on our 10th conference rank. Here we are. Teams look mad nice, though. 
In my opinion, teams looking mad nice. Zante Murray still only 27 years old. He's improving. He's an 86 overall. Joshua 77 now. Another three overall would be great, bro. He's got. He looks like a damn baby in the in the in the, without a picture. But he's a 77 overall. Kelden goes up to an 83. We signed him back for I believe three seasons. Paolo's here at an 83. Went up five overall. We'll see what he goes up again. Uh, but that's already huge. Five overalls, gigantic. Wendell here, double double machine. Devin's my sixth man. Drummond my seventh man. Derek White my eighth man. And then TJ my ninth man vets vets plus devin but vets that can play and be a solid bench uh presence for us then we still got trey jones we got doug mcbuckets if we need them we got luca if we need them time to improve upon that 10th seed even though we finished eighth because we made the playoffs balance proficiency it is again and i think we're definitely we should see quite a bit of ooh. I don't know about first overall, but damn. We are kind of deep, though. Our bench, like I said, is nice. Like, there's vets on it that are nice. And now our starters. Paolo going up five overall. Joshua finally becoming a starter, which might add a different dynamic than what our other guy was. Okay. Okay. See you guys at the end of season number three. Hopefully, this improves Joshua a lot more. And then we're championship caliber year four bars we couldn't hold the number one seeding conference rank that's fine we're the number one power rank we'll see if we can get a championship this season i might still go for a repeat just because i want to see joshua's improvement paolo's improvement we're still young bro we're still young luka Doncic, mvp close to a triple double rookie of the year goes to bates drummond sixth man of the year great move by me <laughs> great move by me but i mean he wins it in 2k a lot anyway so i already knew that i already knew that Giannis, defensive player jalen smith most improved coach of the year willie green not even us unbelievable no all nba team no defensive team but we finished second and then of course new orleans is number one man god why always always player stats let's go ahead and check it paolo's is leading score now okay from 16 to 20, a monstrous double-double, five assists, a steal and a half, and almost a block, almost shooting 40% from three in 35 minutes a game. An absolute star. DeJounte, 19, 5, and 6, 16 for Calvin Johnson. Still mad, bro? Or not? You shouldn't be mad. There's no reason for him to be mad. He's getting his minutes. He's getting his touches. He's winning now. Maybe that's why he was mad. He's a winner. Maybe that's what, like, is in his his makeup or whatever it is. Uh, Wendell Carter, 13 and 8, getting a, a, a two blocks almost. But with a solid backup in Drummond also getting a block, getting a steal, getting nine boards. And two. Ooh, Josh, starter now, 13 points. Of course, he's not going to be the number one scorer, but a solid player in 30 minutes. Field goal percentage does decline a little bit, but he's probably putting a lot more shots up. Especially same, with the same with this three-point percentage, but it's at 38%. Like, you can't complain about 38% shooting from three. You love to see that. Derek White, 10 off the bench, 9.6 for Devin off the bench. TJ, three and three. Uh, that could definitely use a little bit of improvement, but also, he's not getting many minutes. Let's simulate the play-in. We're up against Golden State as our first opponent. We'll see if we have enough to get to the second round our first time, getting to the second round in this entire rebuild, but we are number two now we are number two up against oh no clay wiseman aaron gordon kuminga terry i mean i mean i think we could get past that most def most def we could get past that get us to the second round then we continue from there we'll see game by game we'll see game by game if we have it if we have what it takes up against a six seed minnesota not three seed okc russell edwards leandro brandon clark can't any times that's actually super nice Besides their small, I mean, yeah, their small forward only being a 77 right now, but give them a year or two. Bench not the greatest. Maybe that's their issue, but they got a nice squad. It's not bad. Anthony Edwards being an 89 overall. You still got Cat being Cat. D'Angelo Russell being D'Angelo Russell. Like, come on, bro. Not even a, just one game? Why are we so elite? But, I mean, I'll take it. Of Now we're up against a team that we did go up against last season, our first time making the playoffs, a rematch, but not in the first round. In the conference finals, Dennis, Devontae Graham, Brandon Ingram, Zion, Clint Capella, Kira Lewis Jr. Who else is on the bench? Trey Murphy, Willie Ernan Gomez, is better than I mean, Clint Capella's nice on their squad too, bro. That's kind of that's kind of unfortunate. That's kind of unfair, but oh my gosh, we they, they don't we don't care. We do not care. Get us to the four wanting everyone. My Bulls. Oh, I have to beat my Bulls. I have to beat my Bulls. They add Miles Bridges to the four spot. Pat Will now starting. Zach Levine, Lonzo Ball, Nikola Vucevic, Kobe White still there. DeMar still there off the bench, though. Dad returns. 
That's a deep team. That's a nice squad, Bulls. Y'all gonna beat me? Y'all gonna do me like that? No, they're not. I have to beat my Bulls. Pain. 4-1 everyone. How do I he would? I'll take it. We're coming back for another championship. We win in year three. DeZante Murray, 23, 5, and 6. I think we have to re-sign him. He's getting the bag. Absolutely. Especially after this. And uh, yeah, bring everybody back. Run it back. See how much Joshua improves as a starter. And see how much Paolo improves. And we should be right back. And we have the third overall pick because of the OKC trade when I got two first rounders that were unprotected. The Clippers are bad. And the uh, pick number three. Pick number freaking three. What am I supposed to do with that? Boys. We're going to go gut the Pelicans. <laughs> we have we have that third overall pick. I, I, there's no reason for me to go draft someone at pick number three if we're not going to go multiple more years. Uh, we don't get to see them develop. It, it's pointless. It's pointless. It's pointless. We're bringing in Ingram. We're bringing in Capella to be my center. Wendell, Andre Drummond, see you later. Plus pick three. No. Plus pick 30. Oh, wow. Plus top 10 protected Bulls pick. Plus 2025 unprotected San Antonio pick. What? Okay, delete that, and then we add another one from the future. What about now? No? Low-key low key impressed that they don't, wa they don't want this. All right, let's go pretend that there's a world where Bam Adebayo is available because the Miami Heat are going nowhere. Who is even still signed on a contract for them right now? Jimmy Butler, two more seasons of that massive contract. And that's it. That's it. Kendrick Dunn returns. They need to bring back Tyler Hero. But who do they really have on this roster that's going to lead them to a damn championship? Maybe, maybe they're thinking we got to blow it up now. We got to blow it up. Whoa, what did they say? What they say? Yes, just to, without even a player. Either they have to blow it up or they have to try something different. And Bam, I guess, is the something different that they're going to try to trade away. We're going to throw in Wendell because and we kind of have to. And they'll most likely say yes to this. What the heck? Give me, give me Bam, bro. Top 10 protected pick. There we have it. We add, we just improved a roster spot from an 82, 83 Wendell to an 87 freaking Bam. This is our third overall pick to essentially get our number one rated guy on our squad. Bam, 87 of the, ooh, the combination of these two bigs, bro. An 87 and 86 overall. Uh, Murray continues to improve in areas. His B, uh, three-point shot now. Keldon Johnson in 83 overall stays the same. Devin goes up uh, three. I was about to say three, but what? Devin goes up three. Joshua goes up another three. That means three seasons of three overall improvements. Year after year after year. He could definitely still improve quite a bit more, but he, we'll see what he put up now. We'll see what he puts up now. Drummond in 80 overall. Still our six man of the year off the bench. Uh, Derek, I mean, why do I say that all the time? Six man of the year off the bench. That's redundant. We know a six man is a six man off the bench. Trey Jones, 76 overall, and Luka, a 75. We paid them. We paid our championship squad. Um, we paid, who did we pay? Devin. And then we also paid DeZante Murray, our finals MVP. This team's only getting better. We don't even have a 90 overall player, but it's deep, top to bottom. Whoa, Drummond won six man in 21 minutes a game last season. That's actually wild. That's actually wild. Let's make sure we get our minutes right, though. Make sure we get our minutes right. DeZante Murray getting the most. Joshua getting 30. 30 for Keldon. Paolo getting 32. 33 for Bam. Devin, 27 off the bench. 22 for Drummond as a seventh man. One sixth man last year, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Derek White, 20 minutes off my bench. And then Trey Jones finally, finally getting minutes for us. Balance still the best proficiency. Yes, we have Mike Stafford. Couldn't find Greg Popovich like after the second season out there in the coaching. I don't know if he retired or I don't know what happened, but... Here we are, balanced four stars, fourth season. Joshua makes it to an 80 overall, huge draft pick in Paolo, and now huge trade for Bam, just because I made up in my own scenario in my head. Of the Heat are sucking, give them back their pick. I don't know if it was their pick. No, it wasn't their pick, but we gave them a third overall pick. Multiple, another first rounder, I believe, plus Wendell for Bam to try to revamp their team a little bit better than just having Bam and... Jimmy Butler. Power rank one, conference rank one. We've taken over. We've taken over. LaMelo is the MVP. Rookie of the year. Bay Fall. Patrick Baldwin Jr. Sixth man. Uh, what are his numbers? Ugh. Off the bench. Giannis, defensive player. Most improved Jaden Hardy. Scoring 32. Damn. Michael Stauffer is our coach of the year. 65 wins for our squad, bro. 
We better make an all NBA team. We gotta be somewhere out here. There's absolutely no way we're not out here, right? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. There we go. Paolo makes an all NBA third team. Just one player. That's all I'm asking for. We're elite. Absolutely elite. No defensive team. It is what it is. It is what it is. We at least made an all NBA team. 25 for Paolo. The man is a freak. 10 rebounds, 5 assists, a steal and a half, and a block. 18 for Murray, 7 assists, 15 for Bam added to the squad, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, one of the best passing bigs in the entire game. Uh, Josh, 15 points. If he had his own team, who knows what he'd be putting up. Per 36, 17 a game. Oh, shooting numbers, elite. He becomes elite, 42% from 3. Sniper, sniper. And he's still only 22. Cowden, 14.3 points. 12 for Drummond off the bench with 9 rebounds. Still being a bench monster. 11 for Devin. 9.5 for Derek. And 4 for Trey Jones, who finally gets a chance. Who show what he's got. 49% from the field. Doesn't shoot threes. That's fine. Per 36, 11 and 8. Great passer. Team stats, 65 and 17. You know the record. Our offense is number three. Our defense is number one. Defensive identity still here for the Spurs. 16-point differential. Simulate the play-in. Um, we're up against another Texan team. Simulate game by game. Who do they even have? Scoot Henderson, Jalen Green, of course. Samir Diallo, Brandon Clark. Brandon Clark just traveling everywhere. Alperin, Kevin Porter Jr. off the bench. That's not... They kind of just kept their players. Added a few, but like nobody truly that could improve or help them improve san antonio versus okc what do you guys got to be stacked shay josh pokushevsky ellis king a 73 overall though at your power forward he's not playing like a 73 oh they got Jokic. what the bro the facilitating the ability to stretch the floor is kind of insane out here isn't it that's 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 not cool bro that ain't cool simulate the round that's not cool bro we better be better are we better I don't know. They got yoke. They got a nice squad, man. Are we about to 4 1 everyone again? San Antonio is broken. San Antonio is broken in the video game. We're up against this team again. I tried to destroy this team by taking away Brandon and Clint Capella. They said no. They think they have a championship caliber squad. They kept them. They are correct. They are correct. They're back into the conference finals, but we're just going to 4 1 them. It's what we do. It's what we do. This team is too ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. We went 4-0. And we're up against the Cavaliers. Wow. Wow. My man. I need some good. I need some good Chicago Bulls basketball. Playoff basketball. I'm excited. Last last preseason game, I believe, is a uh, while I'm recording this. Is today. And then and then and then the regular season starts next week. That's insane. I'm excited. Darius Garland, Victor Oladipo, Kendall Brown, Evan Mobley, two nineties, an eighty seven in Jared Allen, an eighty one in Victor Oladipo. That's a nice squad. Kemba off the bench, Lowry off the bench. That's a nice squad. Props. But it's just not. But it's just not enough. Not for me. 4-1. You won your one game. How do you feel? Oh, Lord. 4-2. Ended off on a repeat. Back-to-back -back champions. Is it DeZante Murray or Paolo? It's Paolo Banchero. 23 points for him. 7.8 rebounds. 5 assists. 1.3 steals. There you guys have it. There you guys have it. Took us four. It didn't take us four years. It took us three years. So kind of the same length, but it took us a while to improve Joshua. Um, there you have it, though. We drafted Paolo. This one was kind of just a last year crazy trade that I did. Uh, he wasn't really a huge part of this. Uh, but DeJounte Murray, we kept. Cowden, we kept. Devin, we kept. Joshua, we improved. Still 22, 82 overall. Drummond we traded for because I believe we needed uh, a bit better depth. And he ends up winning six man of the year for us. Derek White stays. Trey Jones stays. Lucas stays. And I didn't even notice, but we had Draymond Green. He gets another ring for himself. You guys know what to do, though. Drop that freaking like. Uh, keep a lookout for these. I, like I said, I have a GOAT collection coming through with his airness, with the king, and and the mamba. So the different designs just like this, embroidered, uh, meaning it's stitched on. Just just keep an eye, keep it, keep it, keep it, pay attention, pay attention. They'll be dropping. They'll be dropping if you want one. But like I said, drop that like, subscribe if you are new, sub, sub, sub. Comment down challenges. Absolutely. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.